Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and this is my Amazon store. In case you're not familiar with Amazon stores that are owned by individuals, they're not really a store, they're a storefront. And Amazon gets you, gives you the tools to make this storefront very easy to do, and what you do is you put items in your storefront, which is a web page, that you think might be of interest to your viewers, your YouTube channel members, your website watchers, whatever. And then what people can do to support you is they can come to your website, Amazon storefront, and select items to purchase and then they can say okay i want to buy that they click on an item and it takes them to the regular amazon and then they're just dealing with amazon as if they went there directly and so if they got any questions or they need to do returns or anything they do it through amazon just like they would normally do it coming to amazon directly and you can purchase additional things that are not in, like my store, for instance. Say you've wanted some bird seed, you can add that to your order as long as you stay on Amazon and purchase. Then I get a small commission on the item you selected from my store, plus any items you add for that session i'll call it for that session and then i get a small commission from amazon which i use to buy additional things to review on my show so that's kind of how it works i didn't mean for this to be an advertisement on my amazon store what i wanted to show you is the things that i've added recently this is i've got multiple pages and this page is of new editions and the latest edition i've added is this book right here it's an ebook and it's about this little handy device that I did a review of a couple of shows ago which is the multifunction electronic component tester and this is a book I found that gives you a ton of information about these types of testers not specifically the one that I reviewed but ones like that so I'm going to show you briefly what's in that book. I think it's a very good book. It's, um, I think it's $2.99, although for some reason it doesn't show up here. But I just looked on Amazon directly, and the book is $2.99. Or if you are a member of the Amazon, I call it the book Books of the Month, where it's kind of like a library card. You can check out 10 books at a time, return them, and get additional books, and it's $9.95 a month. And I subscribe to that because I review a lot of books, ebooks, these are ebooks, uh, on my show from that library. Okay. Now, where were we? Okay, we were going to review this book. Okay, here it is. Let me go to the beginning. Oh, where's the beginning? Oh, gosh. The one thing about this e-reader, and this is, um, even though this is a Kindle e-book, they have, Amazon has on their website a program for the PC, and I believe it's for the Mac, and I think there's one for uh, your cell phones, to read these e-books. Okay. So you don't have to have a Kindle to read ebooks that's my what I'm trying to say now let me get back to the beginning of this book here it is using the Yoso probably pronounced that wrong GM 328 that's the microcontroller that does all this testing of transistors resistors capacitors and this is a book a very good book that was written by James McCallahan, 
W4JBM is his amateur radio call sign. And it tells you the history of this device. I can say it's about nine years old. And um, it's just a wealth of information. Um, tells you how to use it, how to test various components and what it means when you get a results. There is, this is, this is an earlier version than the one I've got. And I can say there's many, many versions of this tester. And he's, he's got, he's just got a wealth of information, talks about the test points, preparing it to use it. Now what he did is these typically come on a, just a standalone PC board. They're not in a case or anything. There are other ones similar to this that come in a case, but they're much more expensive. So he's shown where he has taken his board and mounted it on a wooden board. And then here's the battery holder. He's got clamped down. And then he talks about um, the cautions and limitations of testing things. Accuracy of the meter itself. And it just goes, I mean, he just got a wealth of information. A lot of technical information about components themselves. Gives you a little bit of, no, it gives you a lot of information. Of actually, how this thing works. And turns out there's, as I mentioned in my previous shows, there is a menu system on some of these. I could not find one on mine. Again, I only paid like $13 for mine. These go as high as $60. Trying to find that section. Let's see, let's go with the index. Okay. Index. And here's, you know, got he's got... Um, chapters on resistor, capacitor measurements, inductors, and then there is um, talks about getting to this menu system, which mine apparently doesn't have that. And by doing that, you can bring up additional functions. And one of the additional functions that kind of caught my eye, and I wish. Mine had that function, but I really don't need it. Uh, see if I can find it here. Da, da, da. Change the contrast. Maybe I passed it. Nope, I think I passed it. Maybe I can't find it. Should have bookmarked it. But anyway, I'll tell you about it. Is um, some of these. Not the one I have, apparently, but there it is. Some of these will actually generate a signal that you can, you know, use in your other testing. And it will generate a signal from, I think, like 1 hertz to maybe 10 megahertz or something like that. Uh, where is it? Oh, boy. Maybe it's not that high. But anyway, my point is, um, this, this is a really handy device, and this book gives you a bunch of information about it, about things it could do, how to use it, hidden features and stuff like that. So I suggest you get this book. Uh, let me go back to the title. Um, way up here, the cover. There's the cover. And it's called Using the Yoso GM328, a guide for radio and electronic experimenters. It's $2.99 from Amazon, and I now have it in my Amazon store. Go back there. It is right there. Or you can get the 
actual one that I got, which only costs $13.90. There are other ones that are much more expensive, but they have other functions. The one thing nice about this one um, is they give you these extender test leads. So you, if you can't plug in the device you want to test into this connector, the zero insertion force connector, then you can use the extenders. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.